Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here, and welcome back to Astroneer. And that rhymes, and it wasn't intended to, but I guess... Um... I guess that's a thing that's happening. Uh, we're rhyming today, but... One thing that I have been planning on doing for some time now is kind of doing some deep exploration. And I don't mean just caving. You know, we started off this series with caves and stuff, and I think we want to do a little bit more. We're going to do a little bit more with that. I want to go... I want to go far across the planet, and I want to explore the rest of this particular planet. Because yes, I know a lot of other people, I've been watching other series by the way, other people have been visiting other planets, but I think on this planet alone there might be something to find. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to unload my pack because I've got a lot of aluminium. As some of you have been saying it's alum aluminum? Uh, yeah, it's both. I just want to point out, it is actually both. Both are correct, and both are equally wrong. So, just going to unload all of that, and that can sit there just fine. Now, in order to explore, we're going to need a special vehicle. And I have thankfully already prepared one. You ready for it? Da 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 da! It's a train. I made a train. I didn't think it was going to be possible, but uh, yeah, no, that is a thing that's happening. We now have a train. So that's two trucks and a rover at the back with a little caboose and a wind turbine. So we've got wind power and we've got solar power and we've got additional storage as well. Now, I don't have all of the research done to get the extra parts and things like the winch and all that. However, I do have space for storing materials if I need to. And this will be our sort of mobile home away from home. Now, I am aware that we don't need the three seats on the front, but I kind of like it. And I can sit in the middle. So, that's what we're going to do. We are setting off at night. Which means we are going to be operating on battery power alone. But, I think we're going to be just fine. I don't know how this is going to handle the off-road. It is a little bit slow. Let's just to see how things are getting along. I'm going to drive like this for a little while. It does snake a little bit. And if we go into a hole, I think we're going to have trouble getting out. But you know what? We're going to be fine. Ish. Fine-ish. Ooh, what's that on the horizon? We haven't gone far at all, and we found something already. What's that? Uh, okay. Well, there's some copper in there. I'm going to grab that anyway. Uh, we've got organics. I still don't know what to do with organics yet. But you know what? We'll hold on to it. Because anything is good right now, really. Uh, so, let's go. Onward. O onward. <laughs> We're stuck on a rock. Onward. Onward, noble steed. Oh, dear. Uh, I do not even want to think what's happening behind us right now. Can I zoom out even further than this? Let's just see how the actual train is getting along. Oh, so, we've got a lot of compounds here. We're going to need compounds. For sure. So I'm going to mop up all of this. Uh, because we are going to need a lot of these. Because I am planning on adding more to this. And we're going to need more materials as well to make more trains for the... Or more cars for the train. Uh, that, that is a deep hole. I hope I don't fall into that later. I probably will. It's me. I'm probably going to fall in. Uh, we've got the wind turbine spinning up now to give us a little bit more power. I still don't know how these vehicles get their oxygen. I guess they just absorb it from the uh, atmosphere. I, I don't know. I wish I knew. But it would be... Uh, yeah, it seems like we can just get infinite oxygen from them. I don't know if that's intentional, but hey. Not going to question it even in the slightest. Alright, here we go. So, we can still see our home beacon far off in the distance there. So, hopefully we can still find our way back. Meaning I'm going to go back over this terrain again and end up falling into that hole. But you know what? It'll be fine. Ooh, I've just found another cave. I... Oh, wow. This is a really... Okay, this hole's everywhere. Um... So there's a cave system over here. I should probably put some beacons down so if I find something useful, I can definitely mark it if I can't come back to it. 
But hey, I think we'll find enough materials to craft some beacons at some point, so we can just do that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's hopefully going to be useful. Quite rocky terrain. Trains aren't made for rocky ground. Now, a lot of people might not know this, but trains normally go on tracks. Uh, yeah, and uh, they, they have to go on tracks because uh, otherwise they wouldn't get anywhere. Uh, but we're doing just fine. We're, we're, you know, we're a train. We're a strong independent train. We don't need no rails. Okay, it looks like a crashed spaceship over here. Maybe there's going to be something useful in here. Oh, stop, stop, stop. It is quite hard to stop in a train. All right, let's, 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 let's back it up a little bit. I think we'll be fine so long as the physics doesn't kill us. All right, let's have a look at what's in here. Maybe there'll be something useful. Oh, there is something there. I don't know what that is. Let's dig it out. Ooh. That's uh that's a big piece. Can we can we pick it up? I don't think we can pick that up. No. Uh there's a seat attached to this one. Oh, we can put the seat somewhere. Alright, let's put it there so we have a backwards facing seat. We obviously need more seats. I mean, clearly. Ah, there, there is something here. There's a research item. Let's grab that. So I'm going to find a place to put this. Uh, good thing we have this train, so our Jedi astronaut here can actually put it somewhere. Uh, let's just stick it on the back there. Oh, it does look like the train's a little bit full, though. Uh, we are running out of space. That could be a problem. Uh, solar panels now recharging our train, so we're good to go. We could probably start heading back now, I think. Uh, but I think we might be a little bit stuck. Yes, no, I think we are very, very stuck now. Uh, something is stuck underneath... Oh, the... Uh... Alright, let's see if we can drive this from the back, then. Let's just go this way. Uh, yeah, I don't think the rover's got enough space or enough power to pull the whole thing. So that's why I'm using these trucks. Oh! That's why. We've got something stuck between us. There's a bit of debris that's wedged in there. Alright, so let's see if we can get around that then. I think I might have to disconnect this temporarily. Uh, let's see. How do we do that? There we go. Disconnected. So let's just shift this along. We'll shift the main locomotive along. Oh god, there's a little thing going through my head. Uh, ooh, that looks painful. Oh, that really does not look right. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. It's going through his head. Um, that's fine. I'm just going to move the locomotive to the other side. Hopefully we don't get stuck in that hole. Uh, I think we'll be fine. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, send help. Do send help. Okay, let's connect that back here. So, we've rearranged the train. See, something you can't do with trains that are on tracks. We're already a superior train. This is what we are. We're a superior train. We are the next evolution of trains. Oh god. We are sliding around a lot, though. I think the weight of the truck at the back is really, really starting to weigh down on it. But you know what? We will be fine. I think we're going to be fine. Uh, oh god, there's rocks. Okay. Okay. Yep. This is, this is okay. This is perfectly okay. See, nothing to worry about. We've finally gotten out of there. Our power reserves are being replenished. A little wind turbine going. Our solar panels going. Everything is going perfectly fine. Um, one slight issue. Just a very slight issue. I'm just having a look around right now. I don't see the marker that shows where home is, and that's a little bit worrying. We might actually be... Oh, hang on. No, there it is. <laughs> I was going to say, we might actually be lost, and no, I found it just as I said that. We're okay. We are okay. Alright, come on. Let's go. Let's go. So we've got one research item. I'm going to find out what that actually is. If it turns out to be something useful, well then, hey... We might actually get somewhere. Now, you might be thinking right now, this is probably not the best way to get around. I mean, you could just get enough done with a truck and maybe towing one rover. But you know what? That's not cool, though. Because ultimately, who cares whether it's efficient? 
if it looks freaking cool. Okay, let's do that. Trains are cooler after all. And anybody who disagrees is a dirty, dirty vegan. Anyway, let's put this research item onto... There we go. Is it there? Is it on? Is it... It's, it's somehow not connected. There we go. Alright, open it up. What do we get? Um... Game? Oh, we got lithium out of it. Ooh. I'm sure that will be useful for something. I think we can make batteries out of it. Which will be definitely very, very useful. Not right now, but it could be useful in future. Right, let's unload everything else from here. Because I do need a lot more stuff. Um, let's just grab all of these compounds. Because one thing I do want to do is I want to make more storage on this train. I think that's a downside. We do need more storage. I mean, we did one trip and we're full up. So obviously we are going to need more. I mean, that is, that is clear. Clear as day, pretty much. I'm going to start the smelter as well so that we can get some of these materials out. Uh, let's see, there's that copper. I'm going to take that all... Yeah, I'm going to take the organic off of it. Uh, let's throw that there. And away we go. Alright, so there's our storage done. Let's grab that and put it onto the train. I'm going to make enough to fill up this one bit. Because I think that's going to help us in the long run. We are going to have to wait for power, though, which is a bit unfortunate. We've got a bit more copper and a bit more uh, compounds on there as well. Alrighty, and uh, I made some additions to the train. I honestly think it needs a little bit of work. Uh, it's got a heck of a lot of storage now, and I don't think it's ever going to run out of power. But I think one thing that's going to be very, very common is us ending the video on a storm. It seems to be happening quite a lot in this series. So before the storm kills me, I'm going to end it here. My name is Panzer. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, and do let me know what you think of the series so far and what you think of the train. It really does need some work, but I think we're definitely on to something. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.